Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and out and did it again one more time. Listen, today's video is about what to do in 2022 to get the most results. Well, I'm out here in this beautiful, um, beautiful St. Pete's, and I just thought about this right now, man. I mean, if I'm brand new, right? If I'm brand new, sit into this world of tech. I want to learn how to code. I want to get a job in tech field, right? Because there's a lot of bad things happening in the world. Maybe my job is not secure. Maybe I'm not earning what I'm supposed to. Maybe I've been working in some type of career or some type of job and I'm not seeing no mobility up. Maybe this is the year. This is the year for me to start learning how to code and, and figuring it out. I'm going to tell you like this, man. Start with just HTML, CSS. I know a lot of people always tell you, you got to learn React first. You got to learn JavaScript. Man, you got to make sure you learn Python, right? <laughs> right? That's what everybody's going to tell you, right? But I can tell you right now, right? The simplest thing that you can learn is HTML, CSS. There's so many opportunities out here with just HTML, CSS. It's not even funny, okay? Like, literally, you have content editor right which is in the world of web producer webmaster right um, you also have HTML CSS um, email developer basically right where you create the campaigns for businesses every business that you could think of they're doing email campaigns right now if you go on indeed.com and you search email developer or email marketing you will see that there's so many jobs and nobody's paying attention to that okay those are jobs that are not the most popular that you're gonna hear right but that's actually a good thing because if you want to get into the game my advice is to get into something that you can basically get into quickly right HTML CSS is the basics you don't got to learn a lot you don't got to you know, do interviews where they're doing algorithm tests and a whole bunch of other stuff. Literally just, hey, you know HTML, CSS, you can build a couple of landing pages, you know how to work with email development. That's what you gotta focus on, okay? I mean, that's what I would do. I don't know about you, okay? I'm the type of person that I like to see results quickly. I don't wanna spend a year, I don't wanna spend two years, right? At that point, you might as well go to college and get a computer science degree, right? But if you really want to get results quickly, HTML, CSS, focus on that. That do, doesn't take more than a month, a month and a half to actually learn, right? At the most, if you put in two hours, right? Two hours minimum per day, you will definitely learn it. It's pretty simple, okay? Now, why do I say to focus on HTML, CSS? Like I said, it's a lot of opportunities that no one is paying attention, right? Which means that for you as a new developer, you're not competing with senior level developers. You're not competing with mid-level developers. You're not competing with the guys that just got laid off, right? Those guys, they're going for the jobs that are, you know, 150, 200,000 and up, right? Now, if you're trying to compete with those guys, hey, guess what? <laughs> There's going to be a lot of competition in there, okay? Because everybody's going that route. Now, to get started with, you know, web development, you could get a pretty simple job, you know, anywhere from sixty to $85,000, right? It's a good start. Build experience, right? And continue learning from there. You're going to go in and learn more about JavaScript. You're going to go in and learn more about React. You're going to go in and choose a backend language. It could be PHP. It could be Python. It could be, you know, JavaScript using Node.js, etc. But at least you want to get into the game and start building experience. You know, one thing that I keep seeing that keeps happening and not just to college graduates, not only just people who are going to boot camps or people who are learning online. Right. We keep seeing people going in for roles that they might not be ready for. Or they're basically learning things at home that are more advanced than what they actually need to learn, right? So what happens is you're actually wasting time, right? Wasting time that you could be getting experience and you could be getting, you know, getting paid. I don't know about you guys, you know, 
my bills don't get paid with hugs and kisses, meaning that <laughs> shit gets paid with cash. So if you're going to put in the time into this thing, you might as well put into the time into something that's going to get you paid as soon as possible so you could get some result, results. And regardless, you're still going to have to learn JavaScript. You're still going to have to learn React. You're still going to have to learn some type of back-end language. But how about you start getting paid as soon as possible and then while you're learning those things, you're already working in the industry. So by the time you are ready to apply for a front-end developer or a back-end or full stack or whatever role you're trying to go to, Guess what? Now you got six months of experience, a year of experience under your belt, and you've been getting paid this whole time. You know how many people I know that spent a year and a half, two years, and yes, then they get a job. But we're talking about a year and a half in a job that they didn't want, a year and a half at home making no money, right? A year and a half basically getting paid pennies on, on some bullshit job waiting until they get to that point where they learn all of the skills that's going to get them, you know, those high paying positions. And a lot of times, you know, you get to the point where you learn all the skills, but then now you can't get a job because one, you can't pass the test, right? You can't pass the algorithm test. So now you got to spend another six months learning that, going through leak code, etc. And then now you're looking at a year and a half, two years just to get your first job, right? Another thing that I keep seeing is people going for those roles and then finding out that they're not just competing with new developers. They're also competing with mid-level developers, right? Senior level developers that are also going for the same roles. So at that point, it becomes so competitive that it's like, hey, companies is going to say, okay, all of you guys have the same skills, but let's start going with the guys that have experience. And then if you don't have experience, now you're in limbo. You're like a guy that's prepared and can do the job, but guess what? You don't have no experience. You, you never done this before. You never had any clients. You never um, actually worked anywhere. No, no one can vouch for you. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm doing this in 2022 and I'm deciding like, hey, what's the route that I'm going to go for? I'm going to go for the route that's going to be almost damn near guaranteed. You know, I'm not going for the super skilled uh, roles, I'm going for a role that I can do and I can get experience in. So by the time I go and apply for those big positions, guess what? I checked off all the boxes. I got experience. I know the skills, right? And guess what? I got a company that can vouch for the work that I've done. Not only that, have I worked in, in a team? Have I worked with designers? Have I worked with uh, the, you know, the marketing team, the, the development team, etc.? Right now, you have all those things checked off where a company could feel more comfortable and say, You know what? We'll give this guy a hundred thousand, we'll give this guy, you know, that 95 starting, and in three to six months, we'll give him that extra push to, to get him that, that 120. You get what I'm saying? But you got to do it properly, right? So, again, in 2022, how would I do it? I would just take the HTML, CSS route, okay? Make it simple for me, right? Let me get in the game. Let me get my experience. Let me get paid throughout the time that I'm learning to, to code. And then from there, you know, guess what? Also put in some work. Put in some work on, on the side. Fiber, upward, right? Building experience and putting that extra, you know, money in my pocket. Like, why not? I mean, that's what I would do. Again, I'm just out here in beautiful, sunny Florida, St. Pete, right? Enjoying the weather. I'm just outside enjoying myself, right? Some of you guys might see me here and y'all say, how did this guy get here? How did this guy get to this point? It, it wasn't to try to impress people. I just came in and said, you know what? I want to get into the game. For those of you guys that don't know, that's how I started. You know, 10 years in the game now, you know, we're making over half a milli. Like, and that's not off what you might think. It's off literally the skills and just busting my ass every single day and working hard. But to get to this point, I had to go in and get that first job, you know, as a product editor. And back then, they wasn't paying as much as they're paying right now. Right now, I see students of mine getting anywhere from sixty-five to eighty-five thousand at major companies. When I started, I got paid thirteen dollars in, in, you know, two thousand and twelve, two thousand and eleven. Like that wasn't much, you know. That role of content editor, right? It wasn't a big role. 
and companies didn't value it what they value it now. Um, so again, if you have these opportunities, go for it. You know, I did it. You know, this is what I try to show you guys off examples. Like, hey, it's not where you start, it's where you finish. But you got to come into this game playing chess. This is not checkers. You got to plan this thing out, do the right moves. You don't want to be that guy staying at home, sucking on his thumb for a year and a half, two years, waiting for that big opportunity. Don't wait for nobody to give you an opportunity. Make it happen for yourself. All right, guys. This is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. If you want to learn these skills, definitely check out the description of this video or just go straight to codingphase.com. Okay. I will definitely help you out, teach you everything from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Python, Ruby on Rails, Laravel, like literally everything that you could think of in web development, we could definitely teach it. But 